Hi, Purple Door Church. It's Friday. It's 11 o'clock. Um, it's good to be here with you. I want to just ask you today, I encourage you to comment, what are you doing today? What's happening in your household? What is exciting? What are you thankful for? Just um, have some conversation with us. We would love to hear from you. We would love to hear about what's going on. So good morning again. If you're just now logging on, I see some people coming on. I wanted to encourage you guys to comment today, share what you're doing, share what's going on, share what's happening in your life. Don't forget to share your prayer requests with us. We know that we all have requests in this season, um, but just say hello. Talk to us. <laughs> we want to hear from you. Today, I want to just share a few announcements with you. As a reminder, we will go live at 11 o'clock every day, so be encouraged with that. Make sure you join us. If you have friends that aren't on Facebook, we now have a YouTube channel. Um, so you can search on YouTube Purple Door Productions. Um, it sounds really fancy and official. So you can search that. And then when you get there, you will see all of our 11 o'clock videos um, from the during the week. So people can see those videos. Of course, our Sunday sermons will be on the website and they can find those there. But we wanted everyone to be able to see these daily lives. So encourage them to check there if they haven't been able to log on to Facebook. Also, just a reminder, there will be a blood drive on the 28th. We encourage you, if you're able to get out and be involved in that, to come and give blood. I know that's a major need in the, the communities right now. So that's the 28th. You can get on the Red Cross's website to find that. And they added one for April 7th. So be sure to do that. Um, that's a great way to serve during this time. Today, I wanted to um, encourage you with some words that I have found to be encouraging to me this week. Um, I follow Toby Mack on Facebook, and he posts different quotes, um, multiple, multiple quotes a day. Um, and I wanted to read this one that I um, saw, and it's not a quote, it's actually just scripture. It says, Isaiah 26, 20, Come, my people, enter your chambers, shut your doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until the fury has passed by. You know, I like to look at scripture and I like to understand the context and I like to understand what was happening. And I thought that that verse just really spoke in this season. And so I did some, some background information. And in this particular scripture, they were talking about sheltering from God's wrath. And they were talking about sheltering from God's punishment. And that's what they were doing in this scripture. But I found so much comfort in the words in this passage today about sheltering and hunkering down um, to take shelter until it's over, to come to him, that he will protect you. I, I found comfort in the fact that until this trouble is over, the God that doesn't change is with you. Isn't that so encouraging that the God who doesn't change is with us in the midst of whatever is happening in our lives? He guides us. And he tells us exactly what to do. And while this passage that I read today may not be from right now at this time, it speaks to us right now at this time. And that's what God's word does. It's encouraging to know that his word that was written so long ago speaks to us today. And so I kind of got in a, a rabbit hole of looking up scriptures and I want to share a few of them with you today. Proverbs 18, 10 says, The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Psalm 91 says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. In this scripture, we see the faithfulness of God. We see his covenant at work. We see his power. And I find so much comfort in that, that God, the God who can comfort the winds when they're overtaking, the God that can comfort people in the midst of a storm when they're so scared and overwhelmed, the God who comforts us when we are on a stay put, in the midst of it, we can find his peace and we can find rest in him. In this scripture, it talked about go into your chambers and he's going to be with you in those chambers. And I thought that right now. We are told to go into our homes. And yet he is with us in our homes. Be encouraged by that. Know that he is with you in your home. 
Psalm 57, 1 says, Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Psalm 91, 4 says, He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and support. I love that image. I love that image of God just covering us, right? Like his wings just coming over top of us and giving us shelter and giving us comfort and giving us peace. I love the way the scripture can speak to us in all times of our lives and in this season. And at Merge this week, we talked with the kids um, in Wednesdays about um, prayer. We're at, we just wrapped up a series on Psalm, and we were talking about how we pray through Psalms. And this week, it was a prayer of guidance. And I thought that was super fitting that something we had planned so long ago spoke to us in this season as well. Matthew 6, 6 says, When you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. God is with us in our homes right now. God wants us to speak to him in our homes right now. God wants us to find refuge in our homes right now and find our peace in him. No matter where you are right now, no matter what your struggles are in this day, because we're all walking through this journey differently, know that God is with you. God is in your midst. God is offering you peace and refuge, and he will be your strength. Find comfort in his word right now. If you're not getting into his word, I encourage you to do that. I had some people in our family group want a reading plan right now. And so we're on Hebrews. We're, we're working through Hebrews, and we'll go on to something next. But today, the challenge in our family group is to read Hebrews too. So maybe you want to join along with that. Or just get into scripture and find something that is going to speak to you in this season. Because the scripture is current. It's relevant. It's there for you. And it can speak to you right now. I pray for each of you this week. I pray that you continue to seek him. Continue to rely on him. Continue to find comfort in him. Know that he is with you. And I encourage you to reach out to your community. We've been stressing that all along. We may not be able to meet in our building, but we still need community. So reach out to people. I challenged our families today to reach out to someone and just tell them they are doing a good job. And maybe that's something you can reach out to someone and say, or maybe you can reach out to someone and say, I'm here for you. I'm praying for you. How are you? That would find some, that's some powerful words right there to offer to someone in this season. So take refuge in him, find peace in him, find rest in him, but continue to reach out and serve other people because of who he is, how great he is, how powerful he is, and how wonderful he is. Would you pray with me today? God, we are grateful for your word. We're grateful for the message that you give us. We're grateful for the peace that you offered us. We're grateful for the comfort and the rest that we can find in you. And God, even in this season, we're grateful for an opportunity to stay put, to find, pre find you in our presence, to find you in our homes, to find you in our lives. God, help us to rely on what you are speaking to us. Help us to rely on the way that you are guiding us. God, we love you so much. We lift all of our concerns and worries to you. And we pray all these things in your name. Amen. This week is, well, it's Friday, in case you didn't know what day it was. We're approaching the weekend, and I pray that this weekend you find rest in him, that you get in his presence and you hear his words that he has for you. We love you guys. We're praying for you. We can't wait to see you again. But until then, reach out to someone. Show some love. Show some support today. We got this, guys, because God is with us. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Amen.